Amish said a while ago, this is the first time we brought a certain edge to Doom, as you can probably see in the trailer. Uh, Doom 3 has got a bit more emotion than the Doom franchise is used to. Uh, it's a bit edgier. Um, I've had fun catching all three actually. So uh, um, it's, it's been a challenge. I think Doom 1 was made with a different goal in mind. It was, you know, three young guys, um, a young director, a young writer. We were young then, Victor. We um, set off, nobody actually thought when we were making Doom 1 that it would turn into this huge franchise. And then we came with uh, Doom 2 where we needed a larger challenge. And Doom 3, the only brief was make it bigger and better. I think we've achieved that. Um, I can't say which one was more difficult to catch. I think they're all different circumstances. So they're all very different. Um, the three villains have always been very different from each other. There's no similarity between them. And I really think Amir this time has pushed the envelope um, beyond what even we thought was possible. And uh, full credit for him for doing that. I think he's done a brilliant job. I said it before we started shooting. I think uh, he's done brilliant memorable films, I think this will be his biggest and most memorable. In the mind, you always have a villain, but this time, you have a problem with your mind. That's it. Look, I said earlier that Doom is not a conventional, Doom 3 is not a conventional cops and robbers. In our Doom, the ones who are negative, they don't have a lot of hand in our film. If you see Dhoom 2, then Rithik had a very good reason for doing what he was doing. Dhoom 3 maybe, like Amir said, there's a lot of fun. Jai Dikshit is a police officer and his job is to catch the thief. He doesn't have to study in Dhoom 2. But his job is very clear. If someone has done something bad, I have to catch him. And that's his only focus. It's very difficult to catch him. He's a very dedicated, uh, strong and very... Perseverance. Uh, perseverance is one of his traits. And I can't say that, you know, Amir has given me more in film mein mujhe kuch zyada kya in the film. Uh, apart from that, working on the film it was a dream. I mean, um, I remember that when we were going to shoot the film, we were going to shoot the film. And you were in Mumbai. Mein aap unne I was scheduled on the set, it was just, it was just, it was a wonder to see this brilliant man at work. And uh, when you see the film, uh, you'll just realize what a fantastic job he's done. And every day, Rose, set papers, bed ke unhe dekhna, you get to learn so much. And um, his humility is his greatest asset as an actor. Jo aadmi, hum sab ke saath bed ke, hume puche ki aapko kya lagta hai, mai ye kaise karo. I think that that's a great quality and I hope I can I can learn from that and invite that. Awesome. It's a bit of a tradition actually, because Dhoom 1 when we made it, Dhoom 1 was the first theatrical program. Yash uncle had called his dad to Film City, then there was the ad labs in Film City and he was the first person to see the, the trailer. And the same thing was done with Dhoom 2, so I think uh, since Yash uncle is not with us anymore, Adi is keeping the tradition alive. Because in the shooting, when we were in Chicago, Aradhi had come with Ishwarya to Chicago and Aamir one evening came and spent an evening with her. And she was very pally with him. She liked him very much. So I don't think she'll do anything of the sort. And once you see the film, like Aamir said, I'm not going to be the quintessential villain. 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 Uh, he has a very wonderful reason for doing what he does and there is a justification. So I wouldn't call Amrit the villain. Well, uh, I think for me every film is a challenge. So I think in this film again, uh, the, the performance that was asked of me was, was a big challenge. Uh, it's a tough role. And uh, as I said, I was looking forward to working with Abhishek and with Uday. I have not worked with them earlier. Katrina, I had never worked with Katrina earlier. So I was looking forward to working with her. And I must say we had a great time. I must tell you actually, I'm dying to say this. It's a very high point in any actor's career when suddenly your phone rings and you pick it up and it says Amir Khan. And I remember Amir called me and he said, Yaar, I just heard the script, it's superb, we'll have a great time. I said, yeah, we will. 
He didn't know I had not heard the script. <laughs> you have a very good role, huh? I said, thanks. Now I will tell you how to say I have not heard the script. I don't know what I'm doing in the picture. So I said, yeah, we'll do this. He said, he went into a discussion about my character. I had no clue what he was talking about. And I think this is the first time I'm telling you about this. Yeah, yeah. So I managed to uh, you know, pull this through with him. But um, it was so wonderful for Amir just to call and shows his enthusiasm for what he does. Uday and I are, are, are very junior in, in front of him and it was purely our um, pleasure to work with him. But the fact that he was more excited to work with the whole team and with Victor and Katrina and Uday and myself, it was just, it's, it's so wonderful when you get to work with people who not, not only teach you, you know, how to improve yourself as an actor, but to show you the kind of enthusiasm. He's like a child on set. You know, he's so inquisitive and he's always playing some prank or he wants to play a game and he's always discussing and you pack up and we go rehearse and it's just a wonderful atmosphere that he creates. Um, and um, I'll never forget that because the first time he called me, I was shooting in New Zealand, I remember. And, and for a matter of fact, Adi also not told me that we're making Doom 3. So Amir called me and said, I didn't know we were making Doom 3, Adi had not even told me that we were making it. And he said, you must, uh, we must meet and we must discuss. So I said, yes, I'm in New Zealand, I'm going to meet you. And I had no idea that this picture is going to be made, who is doing what, what is happening. But even before we heard the script started, even our rehearsals, he was so excited and he's maintained that throughout. So it's, it's just an absolute pleasure to be on set with him and learn from him. It's great fun.